In this lesson, we will walk you through exactly what you need to do to build a pipeline that can ingest CSV data in different formats into Snowflake. We need to include the data from the new manufacturing plants in our data warehouse. The formats are all different from the plants, so we need to build a pipeline that can accommodate those differences. Let's build a pipeline that can ingest multiple CSV files. Click Build and choose Pipeline. Then choose Create a Pipeline. The new pipeline window opens. Enter the details, name, and description. And make sure the data collector engine type and blank pipeline is selected. After entering all the details, click Next. Select the authoring engine and click Save and Next. Then, click Save and Open in Canvas. The canvas will open to build the pipeline. The first thing we do is bring in the origin. So you will search for the file directory on the stage and select it to display on the canvas. Go to the Files tab and enter the file path of the data you will ingest. This is where the CSV file is stored. Let's save some time by using an asterisk in file name pattern which means we will retrieve all files with a .csv extension. So it doesn't matter if the file name changes, it just pulls the contents. Now go to the Data Format tab and choose the Delimited since they are all CSV files. Click Show Advanced Options and indicate that these files have a header line by choosing with header line from the header line drop-down list. Next, you choose the Field Remover Processor to remove a field from the data. In this example, we will remove the source ID. In the third stage, you add a processor called Field Splitter. You can quickly search for it by name here. In this example, we are going to split the plant code field. The field will be split by the underscore character. That means the plant code is divided into plant city and plant ID. Now is the time to bring another processor. This will be the field type converter and you will be converting the date added field twice. The reason is that the date added field is a string from the CSV file and stream sets cannot convert string type to date type directly. So we're going to convert it to an integer first, and then convert the integer to date format. I would like to copy and paste to avoid any typo errors. In this example, I'm keeping the default date format. Let's add another field, product shipment value, to convert its format type, which is a dollar amount. As it is coming from a CSV file, it's a string type, so we can convert it to an integer. Let's add a final field, product year, to convert its format type, which is a year number. As it is coming from a CSV file, it is a string type, so we can convert it to an integer. Now our pipeline looks clean. Now it's time to send the fine-tuned data to the Snowflake destination. To do that, let's select Snowflake as the destination from here. When we add the Snowflake target to our pipeline, either you need the Snowflake connection or provide Snowflake account details to proceed. In this example, I use an existing Snowflake connection. If you don't have a connection available, click the plus icon and create one. Let's say we want to continue with a connection, then select the connection from the drop-down list. You need to create the warehouse, database, and schema in your Snowflake account and provide those details here. While the warehouse, database, and schema need to already exist in Snowflake, you don't need to have a pre-existing table in Snowflake. We can enter a name for a table we want to create, and then just check the Table Auto Create box, and the pipeline will create the Snowflake table that we specified. You will need a stage in Snowflake, so make sure it is set up, then provide the details here. 
After the pipeline is complete, you can validate to see if there are any configuration errors. Once the validation is successful, preview the pipeline to see what the data will look like and how it will flow through it. Therefore, when data is pulled from the directory, the unusual field, source ID, is removed from the output. They have a field splitter that sends the plant code into two separate fields, plant city and plant ID. Then you convert the date added field to a time format, and the product shipment value changes from a string to an integer. Now that our pipeline is ready to start, close the preview and go to the draft run dropdown and select start pipeline. The pipeline is ready to read and write data from origin to destination. Now the fine-tuned data flows into Snowflake. We have successfully built a pipeline that can ingest CSV data in different formats into Snowflake. This allows us to include the newly acquired manufacturing facilities data in the data warehouse. Thanks for watching.